But siya yung nagbayad kasi wala naman akong work. <laughs> And ako naman po siya shake. Ilan na yung patak sa loob? Ano? Sa li Ay! Nagawa lang yung jacket! Silent nights recalling you A souvenir of what it could be YouTube ko na. So, for today's video, uh, mag-review na naman tayo, mag-swatch tayo, and magkagawa tayo ng first impression video slash demo sa bagong products na nabili ko sa drugstore dito sa Netherlands. Well, mababin order it online. We ordered it online. I was the one who actually placed the order, but siya yung nagbayad kasi wala well, na akong work. <laughs> But anyhow, so before time mag start sa start ng video na to, it's gonna be actually a very fresh video after 26 days na nanganak ako. So, open ang boyfriend ko ngayon sa vlog na po siya ni Inaakech para magtuloy ng bagong video. Thank you, thank you so much sa aking mga new subscribers and welcome to our channel, to my channel. And we've reached actually more than 700 plus subscribers. Nakakaloko, ang dami-dami nyo na. So yeah, thank you so much for supporting our channel. Let's start na tayo dito sa um, start ng video na to. So for today, I am going to review and test out the new Essence Hashtag Insta Perfect Liquid Makeup. So it's a foundation. And late, by the way, ng ano niya, no, ng container niya. Ayan siya. So you've probably seen this product um, all over the internet and for the most part, I think, sa Instagram kasi doon ko actually nakita ito. When I saw this one, I was intrigued to try this foundation kasi first of all, bago siya. And second of all, napaka-affordable niya. We all probably know na napaka-affordable ng Essence Makeup. And so yeah, I got this one for $4.79 sa Crowdfab online shop. So, pinakorder ko sa boyfriend ko kasi sobrang gusto ko siya itry. So, this foundation actually, nasa website nila ako at the moment. So, they actually released 9 different shades. So, that's not actually a lot. So, you're gonna probably have a problem, trouble, finding the right shade. So, actually having problem to find my shade. And plus, online, it's kind of difficult. It's actually a gamble kung ano yung shade na magmamatch sa skin tone nyo but I decided to get yung shade na number 70 Sweet Almond so hopefully it's gonna match my skin so eto best yung right moment na try ang foundation na to kasi um, sobrang ano um, med at dito wala akong tulog puwet ako so nakikita nyo naman may eye bags ako well more like dark circles well wala naman siya yung eye bags <laughs> so ayun and Ang ta dito, um, medyo red yung cheeks ko, as you all can see, but it's been always like that. So, i-apply natin yung foundation na to in two ways. Um, we're gonna apply it using a sponge and a brush, which looks like this. This is from Real Techniques. This is actually their buffing brush. So, babasahin ko yung description ng product na to na nakalagay sa likod ng... Um, bottle. By the way, this is a plastic container and it's a squeeze tube. Wow, na-squeeze ko siya. Mayroon lumabas na product sa taas ng konti. So, as you can see, you need to squeeze the product para lumabas siya dito sa container niya. But, yeah, it's it's plastic. So, nothing really fancy at all. The good thing about this one, you can travel with this product without thinking na uh, mababasag siya sa luggage niyo kasi plastic siya. So, that's very handy. So, it says here that this is a liquid lightweight makeup with strong matte effect for a perfect skin tone, long lasting and waterproof, mixable with other colors, a uh, shake before use. So this is a matte foundation. So as you probably know, um, my skin is definitely dry. Well, now it's dry. Um, after ko mga nak, oily ang skin ko, but now, um, dry na naman. So let's see kung anong klase ng coverage meron siya. If it's, if it's a light coverage, medium, or a full coverage or a buildable uh, coverage. So, para sa mga best loves ko dyan na um, need ng full coverage. So, yeah, I shake it na enough na po siya shake. <laughs> Ilo na yung patak sa loob. So, mag-squeeze ako sa likod ng aking 
ano, sa li Ay, nahulang yung jacket! So, mag-squeeze ako ng product sa likod ng aking kamay. Then, we're going to apply it on my face. First, using a sponge. So, medyo napakarani ng foundation na to. As you can see, medyo makalat na siya dito sa top ng, ano, ng opening ng foundation. So, be careful with that. Ayan, nag-squeeze ako ng a couple of uh, drops dito sa likod ng kamay ko. Okay, so i-blend natin siya. Alright, so na-apply ko na siya. So, may, napaka definitely lightweight ng coverage niya. Um, it definitely covers up yung mga imperfections ko, like yung redness around my cheeks. But I can still definitely see my skin picking through the foundation. And so, it definitely looks good as you all can see. Makita niyo rin naman yung difference niya from the side na walang foundation. You can see, makikita niyo yung redness sa cheeks ko. While this one is, um, wala na siya masyado. So, I forgot to mention na nag-apply nga pala ako ng primer, which is the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. This, is, this one is yung hydrating nila na primer. I want to test out to kung ano magiging reaction ng foundation underneath ng primer. Alright, so now let's apply yung foundation sa side ng face ko na wala pang foundation using yung brush ng Real Techniques. So, ayan. So, na-apply ko na siya using a foundation brush. Pero, must prepare ko na gumamit ng sponge kasi mas smooth yung application niya at saka maganda yung pagkaka-apply niya with the sponge. Mas blended siya ng mabuti. Parang masyadong rough siya tignan sa, sa viewfinder ko and dito sa mirror ko. So, hindi ko bet. So, i-blend ko ng konti using a sponge kasi medyo rough siya tignan dito sa part na may pores ako. And, hindi cute. Alright, so I'm happy naman on how it looks um, now, but ililayer ko pa rin siya. Tignan natin kung maganda yung pagkakabuild up ng coverage niya. So far, um, I'm impressed on how it looks. It's definitely, I agree with the mati ma uh, mattifying effect of this product kasi I can definitely wear it ng, hindi ko siya set ng powder kasi mat na siya, semi-mat siya sa akin kasi nag-apply ako ng Highlighting primer. So, hindi siya flat na matte talaga. So, kapag meron kayo oily skin, I think that you're gonna love this foundation kasi nagsiset siya ng matte. By the way, um, munti ko na malimutan ang mention. Meron siyang, um, kind meron siyang, ano, amoy, amoy. Meron siyang, kind of sweet scent siya or something na parang flower scent. Alright, so ito na yung second layer and okay siyang i-build up. Hindi siya cakey at all and hindi rin siya sticky and it still feels semi-matte para sa akin. And yeah, much better na apply mo siya ng sponge kasi mas maganda yung ano, application niya tsaka yung coverage na binibigay niya um, rather than yung ano, yung brush. Um, Isiset ko siya um, ever slightly para to make sure na hindi mag-move yung foundation. And also, mag-apply ako ng concealer kasi as you can see, ano, hindi maganda, hindi, hindi siya sobrang maganda yung cover ng dark circles ko. So, magkamit ako ng concealer, I'll be using yung Catrice na camouflage concealer. At saka, para malamit din natin if compatible sila sa isa't isa. Or, tignan natin kung maging looking weird yung foundation and concealer kapag nag-mix sila together. Oh, ayan. So, na-blend out ko na yung concealer. And, yeah, yung underneath ng eyes ko is way, way better. 
So, hindi naman nag-react ng weird yung concealer na inilagay ko siya on top of the foundation. So, that's a good thing. And, hindi siya, hindi rin siya cake. Yung shade niya, may light siya definitely sa skin, te sa skin tone ko, as you probably can tell. And, ano siya, pink undertone din siya. I actually wanted to have like yellow undertone ng um, foundation kasi I am yellow undertone. So, yeah, but um, we were gonna make it work. I'm going to contour yung face. And, so, yeah, tatapos ko ako eye makeup ko. So, regarding with my eye makeup, kung interesado kayo malam ako ano ginamit ko, I use yung Anastasia uh, Modern Renaissance Eyeshadow Palette. Siya nga pala, na, before ko makalimutan, time check, time check, mga best loves. So, it's now 4.10 ng hapon, as you all can see. Hello mga best love. So, just an update dito sa foundation. So, as you can see, natapos ko na yung aking full face of makeup. So, tinapos ko na yung aking eye makeup and as well as yung face ko. Nag-contour na ako, nag-highlight na ako at nag-blush na ako. So, just a quick update. Um, ano oras na? So, 5.07 na dito. So, itong foundation na sa face ko siya for around an hour na, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, I felt like oxidation ng konti. Ever slightly lang. So, medyo parang nagmatch siya ng konti na sa aking ano, skin tone. As you can see, yung sa neck ko at saka yung face ko. Hindi na siya ganun ka. Sobrang dark. Though, nag-contour ako syempre. Kasi nung nakita niyo naman nung in-apply ko siya, napaka-light niya sa face ko. But, so far now, um, mas gusto ko na yung how it looks sa face ko. So, yeah. Um, Hindi siya all at all. I will update you guys later. Um, lalabas kami ng boyfriend ko. And then, uh, makikita nyo rin siya outdoor ko. Ano itsura niya. Hello mga best love. So, just a quick update sa foundation. Um, it's no 7.30 in the evening. So, nandito ako sa labas kasi padilim, madilim na sa loob. So, the foundation is 33 and a half hours na nasa face ko. And so far, it still looks good. Ang, ang, ang foundation, ang contour ko, um, blush and highlight, nandun pa rin lahat. Hey, hello mga best in love. So, it's time to wrap up this video. So, I'm going to give my final thoughts on this um, Essence Hashtag Insta Perfect Liquid Makeup. So, I have this foundation for good. Wait, let me count. Six hours. I put it on like four o'clock and it's now ten in the evening. As you can see, hope that you can see it. It's hard to see, but there you go. So, I'm using my phone to actually film this um, final um, thoughts on this foundation. And this is how my face looks like for 6 hours that I have this foundation on. As you can see, this part of my cheeks are a little bit shiny. Ayan, nakikita nyo. But nothing really like weird things happening on the foundation. My blush is still there, my contour is still there, and even my highlights. So that's definitely a major plus for me. Um, so yeah, um, nag oxidize yung foundation, and now it looks definitely like um, close to my skin tone. And so yeah, um, I will continue using this one. I definitely. Highly recommend this to everyone, especially if you have like um, um, oily skin because I have a dry skin. But for me to this foundation to work, kala ko gumamit ng um, ng primer na has a hydrating effect on my skin as well as my moisturizer is also hydrating. Kaya nagwork pa rin yung foundation nato sa akin. So, ayun lang mga best love. So, I think that I covered up everything that you need to know about this foundation. So, I hope that you find this video helpful and interesting. And I hope that you can try this foundation as I said so many times already. And that's great about it. So, ayun lang. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. If you haven't already, please click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. So, ma notified kayo every time that I upload new videos on my channel. And that's pretty about it. I wish you all a lovely day or lovely evening, whichever part of the world you are. And as always, be confident and stay grounded. Bye, everyone.